Misha Skye is a singer-songwriter from the Boston area who claims she has been a singer all of her life, but privately musical for part of the time. She came to writing first as a poet, and then in her mid-30s uh, began taking guitar lessons and began to write songs to help her remember the guitar uh, lessons that she learned. And it was only in the late 90s that she began to share some of her music and her songs and discovered that she had a big resonant voice um, that could be well heard and really uh, beautify the songs that she wrote. And in 2000, she released her first CD. And she, at that time, quietly promoted it uh, with the ebb and flow of uh, uh, sharing her songs out there sporadically for a couple of years and decided to finish raising her kids first and uh, resume with the music later on. And then uh, Leisha indeed did come back to music and full force. And now she is working on her third CD of songs and she also works as a writing coach and a playwright and just debuted her first play, Henrietta, uh, and in the Lowell area. And it sounded like it had a, a very uh, successful first evening. Her songs resonate with love, humor, insight, vulnerability, and honesty. And they reach in and pull you into her world. And today she will be joined by Rich Creighton, who is known for his talent in blues, rock, jazz, and old time music before. And before he pursued his career in medicine, he was on tour with Billy Joel and Fleetwood Mac and the Allman Brothers. And so we look forward to the music that uh, the two have to share with us today. And I invite you all to please give a warm hand for Alicia Skye and Rich Creighton. So none of these songs have been recorded. I've been traveling a lot lately. So, uh, coffee? My favorite ritual. Peek out of the covers well past the crack of dawn Snuggled up against you with a sleepy sighing young The apple arms play Mozart and meditation gongs My mind wanders to coffee, I like it sweet and strong Next to you, I love the sleepy things you say and do. Those kitten eyes that barely open, first dreamy words more mumbled than spoken. Weekdays I get up first just to watch you snooze, but on a weekend. I lie in bed waiting, scan my Kindle for the news, love to watch you bring me coffee, wearing just birthday suit. Morning coffee, state of mind, hearing your arms, our legs entwined. Slowly half past nine We're still in bed With the New York Times Sugar in it too. 
Pour some cream in my coffee, baby. I'm gonna sip it right here next to you. I love to wake up next to you. I love the sleepy things you say and do. Those kitten eyes that barely open. First dreamy words, more mumbled than spoken. Coffee is such a sweet thing, and I, 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 I confess, I, I don't function very well unless I have about four or five cups in the morning. It's a bad habit, but it's so good. Once I lost my point of view, everything I said was misconstrued. No sense arguing with you, trying to even out the score. Once I threw a plate or two in the kitchen straight at you. Did you laugh or say we're through as they shattered on the floor? Hurricanes blowing, hurricanes going to blow this old house down, blow this old house down. Woman's fury blind with pain, tears that rock the throne dish game. Hurricane blow, snuff out love's flame, don't go running back for more. Do, 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 To blow this old house down, blow this old house down. Once I had nothing to prove, found the wits to up and move, dance the hustle, found my groove and sashayed out the door. Hurricanes blowing, hurricanes going. To blow this old house down, blow this old house down. <laughs> Facebook is such an amazing thing, because I, I know some of you out there have seen me post my pictures of my wild travels. And um, this summer I went to Jackson Hole for the first time and saw the Grand Tetons, which if you haven't seen them, it's, it's like the most vivid, lucid dream ever. The, the stones just jut straight out of a flat plain and they're like the most mountainy mountains I've ever been on. I've been looking at real estate out west Grand Teton Way For a small patch of tranquility In a small town quiet place It's my private fantasy and everything's between you and me Don't feel so light and fancy free I wanna pack my bags and run To a small little cabin With a small little garden 
dog for some company when I'm hiking in the woods. Some folks strive for money, some folks strive for fame. I think that's the problem that's driving us insane. I don't need no fancy wines and cheese, or best of everything to please. Just drunk coffee in the morning and your loving company. A hot luck with the neighbors. Stars that shine at night I want to wake up to the mountains And my soul would be all right In a small little cabin With a small little garden A dog for some company When I'm hiking Some folks strive for money, some folks strive for fame. I think that's the problem that's driving us insane. I don't need no fancy wines and cheese, best of everything to please. Just strong coffee in the morning and your loving company in a small little cabin with a small little garden a dog and you for company when i'm hiking in the woods <laughs> So, I don't know how many of you have ever fantasized about jet-setting around the world. I never did, really. It was not part of what I thought was going to be in my life. I'm really a homebody kind of person. But it is a lifestyle that could be envied. on the plane, reading papers and notes, on the train to Paris in my winter coat, on the boat to London, on the bus to New York City, in the car, on the highway, going far, going far. Rushing like a cannonball, rushing like a river Diving for pearls, going deeper and deeper Diving for pearls like a true believer Holding my breath as we rush through the day Holding my breath, my heart starts to pray Please let me make it through another long day Getting things done to list and the lines I've been running around for such a long time Day after day after day after day 
diving for pearls going deeper and deeper diving for pearls like a true believer one of these days I'll get to stay home again home again coming up for air. from my mind Coming up for air Coming up for air Just one more time Clearing the worries from my mind My brother speaks of a river, and I don't quite catch the name, outside the VA hospital. We're early, and he'd much rather be late for his unseemly procedure. And so it is, cigarettes in the designated area. My brother rolls his own, speaks with another old soldier who happens by, another of his long, winding recalls, and this other man tells him, nodding, nodding, I knew that river. He'd walked the same jungle years earlier, his tour in 65. Well, it was jungle then, then not. Agent Orange, the old man says, a smile of knowing and mourning on his face. Jungle, then not, then jungle again. He laughs a grim laugh. My brother then speaks of the night war, one place by that river they both knew. Gooners came over the wire at us hard, he said, and I wince at his cruel language, though I know not to complain. I can well suppose I've heard worse. They took five of our guys out that night, messed up bad. His story trails off after this, something to the effect it's a small world. Just then I remember the night my brother told us about tunnel duty. How the green ones, like him, new to the bush, won the honor. Honor in that sarcastic sense of the word. First to enter an enemy underground bunker that had been blasted and burned. Flashlight in the 45 with a rope around the waist. <clears throat> you entered crawling hands and knees into smoldering blackness, the smells of burnt fuel, earth, and flesh. It had been years, hard years home, and he'd never spoken of, that, of this duty until then. And even then, it was an oddly casual aside, some sight seen and suddenly recalled as if from some tourism in hell. We'd been talking history, my father and I, guerrilla war and geopolitics, and my brother mostly listened, only offered this to acknowledge one fine point of conversation. He'd entered that tunnel, a 19-year-old boy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was more than 10 years on that night he'd told us, and here he and I were, another 30 years gone by, smoking cigarettes in the bright spring daylight outside the VA and all the good soldiers doing so in the designated area. That other man stands to leave, and my brother takes his hand. 
At this parting, they each thanked the other. There is mention of the word service, but it seems a flawed and foreign word to describe what they share, what it is they thank. I knew that river, the one soldier says once more to the other, the sad smile of recognition between them, each knowing beyond naming the other's survival, the years, the damage, the pride, and something just darker than the grace of God. Thanks. We are here now. I'm here having a good look at old memories. They're sketchy, if not downright made up. Which winter was it we stopped in Charleston? So many trips south. What about going west? flying one year, then driving the next. How old were we then? Did we stay one month or two? Have we changed these 53 years of watching leaves fall? Nothing here is ready to finish. So that's, thank you. I'm here to tell you, brother, it's tough being a weed. The deck is stacked against us. No one wants us to succeed. We show up uninvited and grow up unattended. But we survive despite it, and we're damn proud of it. While other flowers get fertilized and groomed to be a source of pride, weeds got to make it on their own. Disrespected by the do-gooders, we just turn a deaf ear. Cause we got strength in numbers and impudence to spare. <laughs> we don't get fed so we don't get fat. We grow up wild and we grow up fast. 99 proof natural, enhancement free and spiritual. And a weed will never walk alone. So bring on the mowers and the movers and the shakers. Bring on the preachers from the twilight zone. We'll dive in all together and clog their sacred wheels. Jam their blue-nosed blades and rattle all their bones. Bring on the wind and bring on the rain. We'll dance in a frenzy till the cows come home. Now we lean on one another and sacrifice for common good. Now, there are no rulers in the weed world, let that be understood. No crystal ball for gazing with the prize so plain to see. The winners are the revelers in the ecstasy of being free. Thank you. High summer noon, the farmer's hand rises to the fruit, weighs the waiting with her palm. Gilded golden in her pausing, she swirls the cool taste of promise on her tongue. Green crisp, snow sweet, maiden blush. Then stirs and leans into the heat, into the work still to be done. Thank you. Until, my love, our days have the ink of autumn drying in their veins, 10,000 leaves in the sun. Thank you. myself some breakfast, two eggs and butter toast, then coffee from Sumatra, that's the part I love the most. I sat down by the sliding doors to catch, sat down by the sliding doors to catch the rising sun. All oh, the pleasures of the morning, they had just begun. Yes, the pleasures of the morning, they had just begun. 
The sky was pink and cloudless, with scarcely any breeze. Some little squirrels played hide and seek among the distant seek trees. When suddenly, like an arrow, there came hurtling down the hill a parade of giant turkeys with their calls so shrill. A parade of giant turkeys with their calls so shrill. I marveled at the gobbler's iridescent black and brown. Their wobble necks, their ivory snoots, their beards all dangling down. They milled about the feeders and they scratched the ground for seed while the chickadees and pigeons fled with all due speed. Yes, the chickadees and pigeons fled with all due speed. Then one young Tom approached the doors, his beady eyes met mine. He seemed to want to enter and upon my toast to dine. He pecked the glass and glared at me with incredulity. Then he went upon his turkey way and let me be. Yes, he went upon his turkey way and let me be. <clears throat> now since I am a human, I could make a thing of this. I could call it nature's blessing or a kind of cosmic kiss. But what I know for certain is a turkey met my gaze, and I'll hold on to the memory for all my days. Yes, I'll hold on to the memory for all my days. Thank you.